So I want to show you the um, cats and dogs voting app. Now, this is probably like you've never seen it before. Uh, we're used to seeing this being run through Linux. We've even seen um, the backend database being switched out for SQL Server for Linux. But in this example, um, we're using Windows containers through and through. So not only are we using the SQL Server Express 2016 for Windows. We've built out a ASP.NET application with .NET 4.51 um, using full Visual Studio on Windows. We also have a Node.js application again running in a Windows container and then the missing piece at the moment is to convert the Python application that submits votes but um, we're going to use curl as a backdoor to get into the voting service. Now the code for this is available online. If you go over to my GitHub repo, you'll be able to find uh, a Docker file which gives you everything you need to containerize an ASP.NET application and run it in Windows Docker. So right now I've already started up my containers and I've got the results app, the um, Windows voting service and the MS SQL as well. One of the neat things about running the container is that you can connect in with SQL Management Studio. So this is the cats versus dogs voting app and I'm looking at the votes here live in the table and we can just go ahead and hack the votes and you'll see them update um, through the results app. Now the results app is actually reading data from the ASP.NET code. It's not reading the database directly. And when I start up the ASP.NET voting service, it does some basic provisioning to create a database table and a database. The vote controller has a couple of routes. One allows you to submit a vote and the other allows you to get the votes back. So if I switch over to my curl window, we can go in and we could submit a new vote, vote 10 for A, which has gone one way. And then let's change that same vote back to B. And we can add additional votes, as many as we want. So the vote ID is normally decided by the, um, the voting front end, which is written in Python haven't containerized that and transferred it yet. But you can see the votes are coming through and they're displaying over here. In terms of um, changes to the the, um, the Node.js code, it's not very um, involved. Instead of using Postgres or Microsoft SQL, I'm just using the request library and I'm hitting the same URL that you're seeing right here Okay, so if we actually want to do a, a get instead of a uh, post, we can do it that way. So if you want more information, you want to try out um, these containers for yourself, please do go ahead and clone the GitHub repo. There's also the MS SQL Server 2016 Express edition here, available on the Docker Hub. You can pull that down and you can read more about using IIS and ASP.NET on Windows on my blog. Please get in touch. I'd love it if you could try this out and let me know how you get on.